So here's a diagram I put together to hopefully make it easier to understand the transistor uh, if you're brand new to transistors. So there's three pins. You can't really see the pins on here. You can see this one pretty good. Now these are three of the most common type of transistors. The 2N2222 two 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 is the most uh, well-known transistor. This is a 2N3904 and a 2N3906. Now this transistor, the 2N2222, that's an NPN type, so is the 3904 NPN, but the 3906, that is a PNP type of transistor. So down here we have the schematic. So the schematic is the same for the 2N2222 and the 2N3904. Uh, it's exactly the same. You'll just have to see if it's labeled to tell you which transistor to use. Now the PNP type transistor you'll notice the NPN types have an arrow pointing out. It's commonly referred to as uh, not pointing in, never pointing in and it's referring to this arrow whereas the PN type, PNP type resistor you see that the arrow is pointing in and sometimes you have uh, the schematic either flipped or it could even be turned on the side or something. So for example, I showed this schematic in both cases. But uh, now transistors of course need to have the right polarity on the pins. So in the case of the NPN transistor, the collector needs to be more positive and the emitter needs to be more negative. And you control it by this pin. When you give this pin a uh, more positive charge, then the transistor will start conducting. Of course, same with this one. Now, the PNP transistor, of course, is the opposite. Now, the emitter needs to be more positive and the collector more negative. And to turn the transistor on, you make the base negative. If you make the base positive, then it stops conduction. And another thing I need to mention is that even though these three, they're all uh, emitter, base, collector, this is the flat edge, we're looking at the flat edge, uh, not all transistors are like that. I think all of the 2N transistors are, if it begins with 2N, but uh, there's other transistors out there where they have a different pin layout. So you want to make sure you check with their data sheet, uh, you know, try to look that up online. And look at it and make sure you get the correct pin out. But I find for the most part, uh, even for transistors that don't begin with 2N, I think most of them still are emitter on the left here when you're looking at the flat side, base in the middle, and then collector on the right. 